Hi there, we are Steve and Sally, a husband and wife team who together run Azimuth Images and travel the UK in our camper van Pam. Come join us on our adventures. morning. This will be the world's shortest video clip. We're in Scotland and the sun is shining. Good night to Applecross. Off now to go and explore some more. Got a vague idea where we're going. Time will tell if we get there. I've got my history and my geography right, always doubtful. This is one of the generator rooms at Cove Battery, a really important defensive part in World War II. Just about to see down there at the bottom the concrete plinths for them. I'll pan down for you. Over years and years, rust has collected. You see the old mountings for them there. We turn all the way around the other way. I don't suppose to be fair if you're stationed here. You had too much time to enjoy that view. Now this building, I am pretty sure about the use of. We've got a kind of a, a back room as such here, and moving around, a bit of a sea view out the front, and storage. I would suggest for artillery shelves, because just out the front here, if I walk a bit further. Is what is very obviously space to mount a large swivelly gun, and you'll see why it's here. If I start by pointing that direction, get the camera level, you can kind of see the field of fire that it had. That's one heck of an arc and fangle. Now, rightly or wrongly, I'm forming a bit of a plan here. We've seen another one of these. Uh, I said, uh, if you think you know what they are, let me know. This one's swimming pool. I have this feeling that given there's one each side of the gun emplacements, this might have been uh, some kind of ammunition or shell store, which is only a guess because uh, the effects will be over here, swing around, let the exposure sort itself out. Down there, possibly a generator, I'm not sure, uh, but that's one of the two gun emplacements. We went in the first one, uh, I've just been in that one, it's pretty much the same. And once you've seen one, I suppose you've seen both of them. But there's my theory. Uh, 
showroom to my left. Not sure that it's down there, maybe a generator room. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you positions. Yeah, uh -huh. the theory grows in credibility, if not accuracy. This is uh, the room I showed you just now. Mountings for generator. And for swing round. Searchlight position, so that's be why the generator's sat there, of course. You're gonna need a few, uh, a few amps to sort that out. And up here, we saw just now from above, the gun emplacement. I might have got it right. So we'll take a wee wander down here and I'm pretty certain this will have been a searchlight installation. And again, having a bit of a pass rack here. I reckon that's the, uh, the trench to power cable that come in. So we'd have a searchlight mounted up here. And again, up here you got Seriously good line of sight. Out of all the buildings I've been in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think, this is the only one where someone's decided that paint in the way of graffiti is worth doing. Mate, I hope your parents are proud of what you've done. So with that cheerful note aside, the monument you're seeing in the centre of the shop there is the Russian convoy. Memorial, where convoys left here to supply the Russians on the Russian front in World War II. Times change. I don't suppose we're sending many supplies to them right now. But I guess this is the lookout uh, post, it's suitably high up. It's the only, uh, the only one of its sort here, and massive views across absolutely everything. Acro props doing the job for us there. I'm not going to bother showing the graffiti, but just why. Well, I had hoped to fly the drone here today to give you a big sight overview, but despite the fact it's glorious out, it's uh, warm and sunny and fluffy clouds and all the stuff of that, there's a bit too much of a breeze and whilst it uh, steadies down a bit from time to time in the dips of course as I put the drone in the air it's going to be uh, above the line of the sea breeze uh, which at the moment is blowing offshore so if the drone did get wafted anywhere you get wafted out to sea and uh, I don't want that to happen it's a fascinating place there's only one say real graffiti site here and to be fair that goes back to 1986 the rest of it people have scratched the names in which again ain't great but at least it will fade given time right where next let's go find out <laughs> 